Okay, hello, hi Pat. Good to see you. Hi Debbie. Hi Shanti. Hi Kathy. Hi Tony. Hi Diana. Hi Linda. Jean. Helen. Hello. Hi everyone. Welcome to Back to Basics with Kendra. And I am here every Tuesday evening at 5 p.m. PST. I am so happy that you're all here. Hello, hello everyone, welcome. Okay, so this week we are, Sheila's here, thank you. I thought I saw you. <laughs> okay, oh, sorry Kim. She sent a cat emoji because I'm going to be teaching the cats. I thought that was the dog. <laughs> okay, so we are going to be using this set today and um, actually just one cat from this set. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different ways to color it. Okay, so this is watercolor cat set number 4873, and I will show you when I turn the camera. Hi, Nell. Hi, Teresa. When I turn the camera, I will show you um, from the, like, the correct angle, okay? Hi, Georgia. She's got two crazy dogs. Oh, you are? I didn't know you were in Tucson right now. And then I'm also going to be using a very simple um, just the little teeny tiny grass in foliage set one. Hi Cheryl, welcome. And then the little dot flowers in flower set one. Hi Sandy, hello. Yay Renee, yes, the kitties. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna be doing the same cat, but showing you a whole bunch of ways that you can color these cats. And of course it's not comprehensive. There's a bunch of ways you can color the cats, but this is just some ideas for you when you go to color your little kitties, okay? So, do we have any questions before we get started? And I will just switch the camera. Hi, Tina. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Hi, Mary. Hi. Hi, Ruth Ann. Awesome. Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch the camera over and we will jump right into the tutorial. Hi Cheryl, hi Maggie, good to see you. Okay, so here we go. Hi Barbara, yes, follow along girl. Okay, so I'm just gonna take just a moment and get us just set up here. Okay, without being tipping over here. All right. So I have, hi, Kristen. Hello, Renee. I am not using a container. Um, maybe I missed an earlier comment. Hi, Jennifer. Renee, um, give me some clarification on that. What container? Um, hi, Jane. Good to see you. Hi, Ginger. Hello, Julie. Welcome everyone. So happy you're here. Okay. So the little cat set is this one, 4873 watercolor cat set. And I'm just going to be using this one today. However, you can apply any of the techniques we learn to any of these little kitties. Okay. So I just thought it would be kind of fun to show you on the same cat, how to do a whole bunch of different, um, little color, color combos for this guy. Okay, so here we have the black cat, the Siamese, just a, a really sweet, light, taupey gray color. You have your, um, uh, your orange creamsicle little tabby here. And then um, the, I thought you were using the rustic container set. Um, I didn't think I was, did I say I was using that one? I did? Oh, I must have changed my mind at the last second, Renee. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to use it in the next Back to Basics. I apologize. Oh, my word. I did not catch that at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> but I will definitely use it next week. Um, yeah, I had planned a different project for next week. But if I had already said that I was going to use that, my goodness, I'll just move it up. I, I honestly honest mistake. So, um, thanks for catching that. 
Um, it said on the supply list you were using a container. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, I had a whole different project. Um, but then I thought, you know what, it would be actually a lot more fun to color these um, a whole bunch of different ways. The, the, um, the project I had was just using two of the cats and then the little stump. So, um, but actually I think you're getting a lot more out of this tutorial as opposed to that one. So, um, yeah, that's why we hesitate to put up a, a, um, a product list because we do kind of change last minute. Um, at just as you see, I did this time. So, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this and, um, but I will be using the rustic container sets next week so that you can see how to use those. But, um, I really do want to kind of stick to one set, um, per back to basics so that we can really get, um, a lot out of that single set. So thanks Renee and you're so sweet. Um, thank you so much. Okay. So we are going to get started here and, um, Cheryl just finished two birthday cards with the cat lady set. Could have used this for the cards and provides a calico kitty and a Siamese. Oh, good job. Awesome. Um, Lee, the cats are so fun and yes, of course they'll work at, with the dogs, but I will do also a tutorial with the dogs, um, at some point in the future. Okay. So I am going to color my little cat with the, um, the gray combo that we use a whole bunch and that is going to be with the 969 and the 565. Um, Jan, you have the, uh, orange striped one. Oh, you know what? We used to have a little, um, orange striped cat too. His name was Rusty and he's so cute. We miss him all the time. He was a mouser for sure. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to use the 565 first and I'm just going to ink my little cat here and I'll make sure I get him pretty good. And then I'll use the 969 after. And we use that to get a really nice gray. Now I am going to stamp this off. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp this off on practice watercolor paper. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp it off one time and then I'm gonna stamp all five of these with the same ink. So I'm not gonna re-ink here. So one, two, three, I'm gonna huff on it, <laughs> four, Five. Okay. So, hi Karen. How are you? Sheila has a ginger. Her name is Skittles. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my goodness. How cute. Oh, we don't have cats right now, but I miss them. I really want cats. I love cats. Okay, so we are going to start with our little black cat. Okay, so um, we're just gonna start here and work our way to the right. And I wanna just note that the lighter ones are going to be for the lighter cats, okay? So Renee, the two colors I used were the 969 and the 565. Okay, hi Deanna, you're totally fine. So I colored first with the 565 and then I went directly over that with the 969. Okay, Georgia just used the kitties today. <laughs> yes, awesome. Georgia, you are just awesome. Okay, so we're gonna start with the little cat, black cat and then we're gonna move to the orange tabby and then we're gonna move to the Siamese, or I'm sorry, the little gray, um, the little sweet little taupey one which is more of a basic, and then we'll do the Siamese, and then we'll do the white cat, okay? So I'm gonna take my palette, and for most of these, we're going to be using a palette, okay? So I'm going to use some colors that we didn't um, put on the list as well. Hi, Ruth, great to see you. So I'm gonna use N25, but I will be sure to write them on my palette. So N25, and that's gonna be a dark gray. I'm doing okay, but I'm very busy and haven't had time to always join you or do any of the crafting. I might grab my bunnies that came in yesterday and join you. Yes, please do. Oh my goodness. And I totally understand life gets in the way sometimes. So we gotta do what we gotta do, right? 
All right, so I'm gonna start with N25. And I am going to, when I do the black cat, I really want to make sure that I'm sticking in sections so that I don't blow out my lines, okay? So the black cat is, is you know, the most common cat. You're gonna see mostly black cats, but also they're really popular during, you know, things like Halloween or fall or things like that. So it's really fun to know how to do a black cat. But notice in my sample, the black cat is not black, black, black. It is a very light gray with some darker areas and it doesn't need to be like pitch black to be a black cat. You're gonna put that together and be like, oh, that's a black cat, okay? So you can put more um, darkness in here if you want to, but if you do it too dark, it's just gonna look like a really dark blob. So you really wanna make sure when you're doing a black cat, you're still leaving the highlights, okay? All right, so we'll start with our black cat. And I'm going to grab just a little bit of this N25. And you wanna make sure that you have a mostly dry brush. You don't wanna to have too much water on your brush. Okay, and when you go in here, you're just going to start putting in that color lightly. So I'm gonna start leg to leg. Okay, and I'm just gonna have this really light gray to begin with. Okay, and just take your time. You don't need to rush this. All right, but we're going to go um, section by section. You do not need to go quickly because if you do, you can sometimes blow out your lines. So just take your time. I'm gonna go with the tail and then I'm gonna go up in here. And I'm gonna leave just a little bit of a highlight right on that edge and pull this out. And this is my chest. I wanna keep that somewhat highlighted. Okay, same thing here. And I'm going to kind of create this little circle right at his cheek. And that's going to add more dimension into my cat. I'm gonna go up into his ear, over his forehead, and I'm gonna leave his face mostly white. But I want that little circle there where his cheek is. And then this is his chest, so I've gotta have this line. And I'm just slowly building my color here. All right. How is everyone at the AI family? We're all good, thanks Karen. Yeah, we're doing well. We are all hanging in there. Let's see. Hi, this is Margaret from Australia. I'm cooking lunch while watching you. I'm on my husband's Facebook. Hi, Margaret, great to see you. So awesome to have you here. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> okay. You're a multitasker. I wish I had that skill. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm talking and painting. Does that count? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go back over just the feet and the legs with a little bit darker. And we're just going to build this color. I'm going to leave the chest lighter, that lighter gray. Okay, I can bring in a little bit of this darker here. I'm going to bring it over and bring it down. All right. So you can see I have a little bit of a highlight right on the back. And I'm going to take again that N25, create his little cheek in here. And I'm going to leave his face mostly highlighted, darken up that ear, bring it forward, that little ear in the back. Okay. And this is all going to be shaded in over here. Now I'm going to add just some shadows. Okay, so I'm going to add some darker areas now. I'm wiping a lot of the water off now. So I'm going to put in some shaded areas that are going to be darker. On either side of the feet, 
the bottom of the tail between the legs and the tail. It's going to be darker. I'm monitoring your comments still just in case anyone has questions. A little bit under his chin. His ear is going to be really nice and dark. Okay. I always have trouble coloring the animals and this tutorial will be very helpful. Oh, good, Margaret. I'm so glad. I know sometimes it's fun to just do, um, just do the, um, the very, very basic coloring and then you can kind of tailor these to animals that maybe you have. Okay. So I'm so happy to be of help to you. And um, make sure also, and we'll get there, but make sure you really fill in those eyes too. We, we will definitely get there, but I just wanna kinda leave that reminder for you to sort of think about that, is we always, always wanna fill in the eyes because that's what's going to bring it to life when you darken up those eyes. Okay, so we're gonna just grab a little bit of water and blend some of this out now. Just a little bit of water and we'll blend just a little of that out. But can you see how that gray is coming off as if it is black? Because it's gonna have highlights. Okay, size brush. Nancy, I'm using a number four. And this is the Connoisseur um, Synthetic Bristle Round Brush. So if I were to bend it, it will pop right back. I always use too much water and their eyes look spastic. <laughs> Renee, don't worry. Just use a little bit of water. You can always add a tiny bit more. But follow the lines of the eyes and always leave a little white space in the eye. Don't color it in entirely. And I will zoom in also um, once we kind of get um to those eyes but i can zoom in a little bit now too hi shanlyn how are you good to see you barbara yes we're just doing kitties today okay so i'm gonna grab that black again and or that really dark n25 fill in that ear i'm gonna bring this now along the legs so we're just really gonna get this nice and dark in here where the shadows are. Notice I'm not focusing so much on the feet. There is going to be some highlight on the feet and that's totally fine. Just leave the feet a little bit lighter. No one's really even looking at the feet. Okay, so I'm gonna put that shadow in and then I'm gonna come over it with my brush and just blend it out. And Dad Krebs, Mr. AI is in the house. Make sure you say hi to him. I saw you pop on, Dad. Can't hide. <laughs> okay. So I'm just pulling this color out just a little bit and blending. So if you can do the black cat, these other ones are going to be easy peasy, which is why I wanted to start with the black cat first. Because once you get him, you're going to be like, oh, these other ones are like super simple. Okay, what size watercolor? Shanelyn, I'm using a um, 9 by 12 quartered. So each one is about 4.5 by 6 um, inches in size. All right. So now I'm going to take my um, Twin Tone which is this really tiny one. I'm gonna take that detailed tip, okay? And I can zoom in just a little bit more here so you can see. But I'm gonna take that tip and just color in the eyes. See, I'm leaving just a little bit of white there. And that's his eye. So I might come back in and just add a little bit of a line 
where his ears are, darken up where his feet are, where the shadows might be nice and dark. And then we'll come in at the very end and put in the whiskers. All right. So there's our black cat. Okay. Hi, Catherine. Great to have you here. No problem. Come anytime that you're available. I will be here at five every Tuesday. <laughs> so you just come when you can. Okay. So the next one we're going to do is the little creamsicle cat. Okay. And that's going to be this one. And I'm going to start by pulling out some of the shadows in here. So just very lightly pull out some of the shadows and we want to keep him pretty light. We want to keep his cream underneath pretty light so that those stripes can can come out and be and be strong. Cuz if we do the underneath color dark, it's going to be really fighting with the um the stripes or the stripes are going to be fighting with the under color. Okay, so we need to kind of make sure that this area down here is nice and light. And I'm just right now pulling some of the shadows out. Okay. Just a little bit up in here. And I'm pulling those little shadows out just with a mostly dry brush. Okay. Yours is so awesome. You can see all your details. Oh, Tina, thank you. These are so fun. Once you get a really good handle on the different colors of cats that you can do, you can just play and practice. And honestly, if you have the time to do like a whole row of black cats and a whole row of creamsicle cats and a whole row of Siamese cats, you will be a master by the time you get through all of them. So, um, you know, it's easy to look and be like, oh, wow, that's amazing. But actually you can do it as well. It just takes a little bit of practice and, and maybe someone to show you some techniques. Okay, Nancy. Well, I will post the replay. No worries. Okay, Barbara. Yes, we do carry puppy stamps. Yes, yes. Okay, so now I'm going to take my number 925 and I'm going to put this onto my palette. So this is nine. Oops, that's actually not the one I want, but we'll take 925 too because I'm going to need that for the stripes. So 925, I'm going to do 933, which is the one I, I wanted. 933 and then also 947. 947 and these are the colors I'm going to be using for my little um, creamsicle so if you were to do this with um, a gray tabby you would just color it very similarly to the black cat except you would use a lighter gray you could actually do the same thing with like this really soft taupey color and then put in gray stripes so it's going to be the same technique even if you have a gray tabby okay so I'm going to take my 947 just a little bit of that and a little bit of that 933 and we're going to mix those two together mostly a dry brush and i'm going to come in and just very lightly color in this creamy color here the underneath is going to just be very very light Okay, so I'm going to put in some of this cream and we'll come back in and put some more shadows in. And actually I wanna keep the feet white. So I'm not gonna go below that. And the tail can actually, the end of the tail can be white too. So I'm gonna keep this. That 933, a little bit of that 947. And I'm gonna take a little bit of water and just blend this out a little bit, okay? Same color up in here. And I'm going to just bring this down just a little bit onto his nose, around here, up into his ear, and on his head. It's that really nice cream. Okay, thanks Barbara. How would you put spots on a cat or dog? Lindy, I will get to that when we do the dog. Um, 
the spots are just going to, for the cat, um, if you were to do like a calico, I would follow a photo of a calico because you're really going to have a lot of different areas of coloring. Calicos in general are pretty tough to get, um, to do with this watercolor technique unless you really sit there and kind of work through the colors. Um, I like to do a calico with a photo reference because if I'm doing it without a reference, it's really, really hard to get those colors correct because there's always something that doesn't quite look right, but it's really hard to figure out what that is. So if you were gonna do um, spots on a cat, I would use a photo reference for sure. Okay, these are just like the basic ones. I would I would say an, uh, Calico would definitely be an intermediate um, project for sure. Okay, let's see. What was the initial light base color? Oh, the base 933 and 947, sort of equal parts on that one. I can tell you know your cats. <laughs> Catherine, I love cats. I've had cats my whole life. And actually the last few years is sort of the only time I can remember um, not having a cat. <laughs> and I think that my parents should probably get cats again. <laughs> Are you guys listening to this live? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to bring a little bit more, just still very light. Okay, very, very light. That peachy color in here. Some of the breast or the chest in here, that's left light. Okay. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of that orange and we'll bring it just a touch, just ever so lightly. Light, 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 light is really what you're going for here. Gonna come just put a little bit of a shadow here, but not much. My daughter has three and I'm very allergic. Oh no! That is so sad. I knew you were a nice person, <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> when you use a dryer brush versus a wet brush. Um, Helen, I use a dryer brush when I'm doing projects like this because I really need it to kind of stay where I put it. Um, if I'm using a really wet brush, it's going to run into the lines and then that brown is going to come screaming out of those lines. So I just feel like I have more control when I use a dryer brush. I hope that helps. Okay, so now I'm going to use my 925, just a little bit of that, and the 947. And I'm going to mix just a little bit of this for my stripe maybe a little bit of that 933 just to keep it cohesive a little of that 947 okay mostly dry brush and i'm gonna start by pulling down in like these little zigzag stripes okay and i'm just gonna pull down just like this my little stripies and actually I want these a little bit more orange so I'm going to bring in a little bit more of that 925 and I'm not doing a perfect line I'm doing very very um kind of an up and down jiggy jiggly line <laughs> What are your tips if you have a heavier color and need to lighten it up Tina I would use just a little bit of plain water to do that just a little bit of plain water. And um, when you go to pick up the color, then you wash your brush again and then go back into it. Wash your brush again, go back into it. And as you go back into it, you wanna go in with a dry brush so that you can pick up some of that color. Okay, so I'm gonna come down and we're going to kind of wiggle in some of these little stripes. And I can always go back in and put a little bit more color in there. And like I said, you can do this with a gray tabby if you want to, however you want to do it. You know, the nice thing is, is that cats are going to all look different. So even if you oh, used a color that you weren't, you know, meaning to use or that you didn't intend to use, well, that's just the way that cat was born. 
So we don't have to worry too much about being perfect, which is nice. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in just a little one down here. And you're gonna go kind of with the curve of the body. I know, aren't the stripes cute, Helen? Oh, sad, the cats are out of stock already. Oh my goodness. Well, they'll be back, I promise. They will be back. The cats are like a staple. Okay, so I'm gonna come back down and I'm gonna need a little bit more color apparently. So I'm gonna come in and just pull the little stripes, just like that. And we'll go across his little feet, his little legs, just like so. And then one at the top. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take my little, um, this really cute orangey color and just go back over just a few of these because I want these to be really nice and orangey yellowy. Cute. Love how these turn out. Do you see how if we would have done a darker body that we would have had trouble seeing it? We would have had difficulty um, like getting that stripe to really stand out if we had a darker body. But if we do the peach body, then we can really see those cute stripes come out. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jane. Thank you. I'm gonna use a 723. This is just a light pink. Um, we've got one something similar to it on the website. Um, it can actually be any pink. It can be a red if you want to. Um, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of this just on his cheek. And um, this is optional. You do not have to do this, but I think it's just so cute when you get a really nice pink onto the cheek there. And I'm going to, again, color in that ear. Now, I'm not gonna use the, the N25 to color it in. I'm gonna use the 969. And we'll just kind of scoot this over. So 969, which is that dark brown because I didn't use much gray here. And so I really want this to be um, a brown ear. So if I'm doing a gray cat or a black cat, I'm gonna use a gray for the ear. But if I'm using warmer tones, like the, the golds, the yellows, things of that nature, I'm gonna use brown for the ear. So I'm just going to color in that little ear. Let's see. Yes, they will come back. They will definitely come back in stock. The cats are ones that do sort of go quickly because <laughs> a lot of people love cats, but um, they do come back fairly quickly as well. Okay. So we'll once again do our little eye. I'm gonna move that out of the way. I will zoom in just a little bit more. And I'm going to do the little eye here, make sure I don't have a ton of ink on my fingers. And the little eye and the nose. And that just brings him to life. And I might bring in this right down in here where the shadows would be. Okay. Actually, I can put a little bit of that brown there too. Why not? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna zoom back out. And now we have our orange tabby. All done. Okay, so now we're going to do our really adorable basic gray um, little tab. And I'm gonna color him with um, a lot of the brown that's already in him and his lines. And then I will add a little bit of the gray from my palette as well. Um, 
No, Catherine, we're going to do whiskers at the end. So definitely not too much to bother. No, we're definitely going to do the whiskers. So um, I did my whiskers with a very light um, black fine tip marker. And so we'll go in at the very end and do those. Good question. Actually, it's a, a really easy thing to miss. And it's not noticed very often whether there's whiskers or not. So <laughs> we'll definitely go back in and do that. So good for you to notice. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking the color out of the lines once again. And we'll leave the feet white. I like to leave the feet white because it just, it just, takes away the need to do so much coloring so perfectly. And a lot of times the feet are in the grass anyway, so you don't really need to. I did a pink cheek um, to my white cat or my black cat. <laughs> Barbara, you totally can. Um, it does kind of muddy it up occasionally. So I tend to just use the darker color when I'm doing a cheek on the black cat, but it can be very cute. So um, don't, don't, count it out but it does so it does occasionally get muddy so um that's typically why I don't but that doesn't mean you can't okay so I'm going to take a little bit of my 565 and actually this has some of the brown on it so this is going to be a um already kind of grayer blue because it has the brown already mixed in it from um coloring over the stamp. So I'm just going to use that. And I want to add a little bit of water to this because I don't want a lot of this color. I just want enough to be able to come in here and add kind of that taupey with lots of brown and um, just kind of a gray taupey color. And this is going to be your more basic cat who is just gonna kind of be sitting and, you know, not tons of attention on it because it doesn't have a bunch of colors and everything, but um, it's just really a cute color. It's just more taupey. Okay. And I just got a whole bunch of brown on my fingers. So hopefully that doesn't transfer. What kind of cat are we coloring now? So I don't know if it's even a breed or what, but um, there's a really soft gray kind of taupey cat. So that's that's what I'm going for for this one. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of that 969 to the 565. So I just get this nice grayish. And I'm gonna bring this across and back on the back. Now I want to make sure I leave just a little bit of a white line on the back of this for my highlight. Okay, and just take your time. Hi Gina! No problem! Oh fun! Ceramics! That sounds like a blast. I took ceramics in high school but I haven't since and I would absolutely love that. That would be so fun. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more of that taupey color and we'll put a little bit of that cheek in there. And we will put some pink on this one. So I just, I'm adding my water to that just to blend out that cheek a little bit. And I'm doing a very, very light wash, very, very light wash. Just, again, just take your time. There's no need to rush this. Hi, Victoria. Good to see you. D, that's awesome. You know what? I feel like gray cats are so fun. I had a gray cat, too. I've had a tabby. I've had some Siamese. I've had a black cat, black and white. I've had a Manx. We've had lots of different kinds of cats. And they're just so fun. They've got really funny personalities. Okay, a little bit of the shadow here. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take um, just a little bit of that pink, that 720, uh, 723, I'm sorry, the 723, and I'm just going to grab a little bit of that and just gently drop it into that cat like so. Oh, Vicky! Happy early birthday! So awesome. Oh, and Barbara has a birthday next month too. Very cool. So awesome. Very, very cool. Okay, I'm just gonna use just my water. Just a little bit of water and blend that out a tiny bit more. Okay, I'm gonna take that um, 969 and I'm going to put in that darker ear with just a very small amount of water. And if you use less water, you actually get um, a stronger color. So um, you're going to have a more concentrated color if you use less water. Karen is still celebrating her birthday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Karen, it's your birthday month. Isn't that what it is? You celebrate during your birthday month. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take that 969 again and put a little bit more in here. Now it looks like I kind of lost my line just a touch. That's okay. I'm going to take my twin tone again and we'll kind of scoot that to the side. We'll put in our eyes. Always, always, always darken your eyes. With just a little bit of that um, lightness there. And I made that one kind of big, but that's okay. And then we can always put in the other. And I always like to come back in and just add a tiny bit of that twin tone. Okay, that's right, we celebrate all month. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Karen, you're so sweet. Okay, so now that we got our little topi cat in, I am now going to start our Siamese cat. Our little Siamese. And actually, you know what? Now that I'm looking at him, I do want just a little bit more of this pink. I just want a little bit more. It's so cute. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take my little Siamese cat. And I love Siamese. I think they are so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. And the nice thing about Siamese cats is they have um, designated areas where they have the dark. But otherwise they're light, right? So we're going to take our brush and bring out just a little bit of this color once again. So notice we're always bringing out just a little bit of the shadow on the legs and the body because even if it's a white cat, you're still gonna have some areas of shading or some shadowed areas, okay? So even if it's not a black cat or a dark cat, you will have some darker areas. All right, so I'm just going to, I can zoom in a little bit more here. You can see a very light um, shadow. Hi Kendra, just joined in with my tabby cat watching. Oh, awesome, Ross. First time here, managed to get the time difference right. It's Wednesday morning in Oz. Is that, is that um, New Zealand? Where is Oz? That New Zealand. I might be totally wrong and I'm so sorry if I am. Really enjoy your work. Thank you, Ross. Thank you. I appreciate that. So cool. I love having you here. Okay. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong on that. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to take my N25, just a very, very light gray here. Okay. And I'm going to start on the legs. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to color 
the little legs and this is going to have just a little bit of an arch up top oh australia thank you <laughs> wow i am just not good at knowing country like names <laughs> I'm so sorry i was thinking oz was new zealand but now that you say australia i feel like i definitely should have known that okay so i'm going to take that n25 again and I'm gonna color the other little leg here. And I'm not gonna worry about this being perfect. It's okay if it isn't. I'll blend this out just a little bit, just so we're not gonna have a really, really harsh line there. Take a little bit more of that. And I'm going to go right into the face. And this is just going to blend out very, very light water use in here. If you do the Siamese, use very, very white, light water. If you use a lot of water, you will totally blow out the face. So use very, very light water. Okay. Because we're going to darken up that eye and the nose. So don't worry if... You're losing the eye and the nose while you're coloring because we're going to darken that up. Um, okay, yes, New Zealanders are called Kiwis. Yes, I knew that, Valerie. <laughs> I did know that, but I just, for some reason, was thinking Oz was, um, but I guess it's Aussies. Australia, Aussies. Yeah, okay. I needed just a second to think about it. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm going to take my little N25. I'm going to put that color right into the ear as well. And that's going to go onto the ears. Okay, my little Siamese. And his tail is also going to be this gray color. Okay, so you can see our little Siamese coming together. Yes, yeah, so you can do um, the Siamese in cream. I'm going to leave it white just to make it really simple and basic. But if you want to go in with the cream, by all means, 100% do it. Okay. But yes, we had a, I had a Manx actually that was kind of Siamese colored. And he didn't have a tail, and he was so cute. He had these bright, bright blue eyes and this gorgeous colored fur with the um, that traditional Siamese gray and, like, the little gray face and everything. Oh, my goodness. We absolutely loved him. He's so cute. Okay. And we actually, um, I know somebody's probably going to ask me what his name was, but his name, I'm just going to tell you. So his name was Cabot because he was half cat, half rabbit, because <laughs> he had just the tiniest little tail. <laughs> and so, I mean, we were young, so we thought that was pretty hilarious that we named him Cabot. Okay, you're in creative mode right now. <laughs> yeah, seriously, Cheryl. <laughs> Your technical side is recharging right now. That's very true. That is definitely the truth. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go back in now that this is sort of dry and put in some of the darker areas that would be shaded in. So definitely some areas down here. And just a little bit in the face. Okay. Now, hi Arlene. No problem. I will definitely repost onto the wall. And if you guys want a really good HD version, um, you can go watch this on YouTube when we upload it, which should be very soon after the after this posts. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with my N25 dark now, okay? This is nice and dark. 
So I'm gonna put just a little bit of a shadow down here. Just very, very light. What colors did I use for the cream? I actually didn't use any color other than the brown that was in the lines, Diane. So I didn't add any cream. I just added, I just pulled a little bit of that brown out that was on the stamp. And then I added the gray, the N25, um, for his, his little markings. I know, isn't the Siamese cute, Teresa? I know, this one was my favorite too. Of all the ones that I'm doing tonight, I was like, I love the Siamese. <laughs> it's just fun to color too. It's really, really fun to color. Okay, so I'm gonna put in his little eye with that twin tone. And his nose. We'll put our little lines back in. Okay. Okay, Therese, we'll see you next time. Yes, Catherine, it could be a rag doll. Oh my goodness, a rag doll is on my list. On my list of cats that I want so badly. A ragdoll is 100% on my list. So is a Maine Coon, but they're like insanely big. <laughs> but you know what? I just love them. They're huge. Does anyone have a Maine Coon? Okay. So now I'm going to finally finish with my white cat here. Arlene has a question. Um, let's see. I have a question. I thought there were going to be new releases about every two weeks. Can't remember which video is going to include them. Arlene, make sure you check out Art Impressions Facebook because they have that information. And I, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm just on the watercolor end. So um, definitely you can call um, the office and find out, uh, 1-800-393-2014, um, or you can email feedback at artimpressions.com and they will help you. Okay, so for the white cat, I am just going to once again come in and put my shadows in, okay, and I am going to just pull a little bit of that shadow those shadows out and just a tiny bit up here. He's going to be mostly white, so I don't want to pull out too, too much. Okay. No problem. Uh, my daughter has eight Oriental short hair show cats. Oh my gosh, Ruth. That's amazing. That is so amazing. Andrea, my parents used to have a cat that was part Maine Coon. He was 20 pounds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah, the Maine Coons are amazing. Have you guys seen some of the photos online of like people holding them and they're like four feet long? Like they're huge. They are huge. And I'm like, oh my word, I want one. But I think it would eat my Pomeranian for sure. It's like, oh, lunch, a little rodent. <laughs> okay, so the key with the um, white cat is that you want to surround it with color so that it looks white. So I'm going to put its little ear in first, the little ear color. And because it's white, you really want to surround it. So we're going to put blue and a little bit of green here to surround the cat to make it look white, okay? Because if you leave it just as is, it can look a little bit flat, but if you surround it, then it will not. So I'm gonna take 526 on my palette. Let's see if I can just turn this. So 526, a little bit of that, and then actually let me just zoom out so that I can see a little bit more, or you can see a little bit more. And then I'm gonna use 177, for a little bit of that green at the base. Okay, Maine Coon is the size of a dog. Yeah, <laughs> it's huge, it is huge. That's why, that's why I think it would eat my Pomeranian. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this blue right up to the edge of the white cat, right up to the edge. And be careful not to grab the brown 
because the brown will, um, was that 969? Cheryl, yes, that was 969 for the inner ear of the white cat. Thank you. Yeah, sometimes I get um, just excited about the next part and I forgot to forget to give you guys the colors. <laughs> so if you um, just comment in the text or in the chat, I will definitely answer any questions or give you colors. So I apologize. All right, so I'm gonna go right down here and pull in that blue and just surround this is the biggest thing you need to remember if you're doing a white cat. You have got to surround it with something so that the white pops off the page. Otherwise, it'll just kind of get lost. So I'm just kind of dabbing this blue. If you wanted to surround it with flowers, you could do that. You're having, you're just having too much fun with us. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Tuesday nights are like my favorite thing ever. I love this. Coming on here with you guys and just hanging out and relaxing and having fun and just chilling and watercoloring. Okay. So I'm just going to take that number 177 and, well, we have a possible alarm going on right now. I'm sure somebody will go ahead and tell me if that's something I need to be worried about. <laughs> um, um, okay, you guys. Well, I'm going to wrap this up for today. And because we've got an alarm going off and I don't want to get um, stuck if there is a fire. So I'm just going to quickly put in the eye here so that we can finish this. And I'm going to log off. I love you all and I will see you next week. I will definitely post this onto YouTube and I need to go. Love you all. Bye-bye.